let's talk about how to import your companies into Hudu. Now to start off to find where you can import said information, we're going to go to our admin section and then to the imports under the account administration. Here, when I click on that, we can see the different sorts of items and templates that we'll be importing. For sake of this video though, we'll be looking at companies. By clicking onto this link, we'll download a CSV format that will allow us to import the data that we're looking for. When we are importing information into Hudu, it is important to make sure we have those critical fields. And with regards to companies, the only critical field that we have here is ensuring the name of your company. But now let's take a look at the template. Within our CSV, we're going to have different rows and columns, and we're going to follow along to make sure that we have all the information that we need. We can import multiple companies at a time, but in this case, I'll fill out a couple fields so you can see how they look again on the other side when we're ready to import. So I've added a quick bit of info with those critical items like that name before. I also added the state, company type, website, and then also our quick notes, which we can import. So with that template saved, I'm gonna switch back over to my instance and get ready for the import. When we're ready to bring in those items, I'm gonna go over to the bottom of this page and start the import process. Here we can have the type. In this case, by default, we are already on companies, but make sure that we have that right match when we're importing this info. Now what I'm gonna do is browse my local files and choose the one that had my company details. After selecting the file, Hudu will then preview the import and the information to give you a second look that everything has lined up. When we're all set and ready with that, we can start the import to bring that data in. If you bring in the data and it seems like the actual company hasn't populated, we can go back and return. And underneath our importing sections, we can take a look at our logs. So in this case for passwords, if I hit the view logs, we'll see that we have a company must exist indicating which line there was an error. So we can go back and fix any issues and then try the import process again. If you have any more questions, please feel free to reach out to us at our support site or feel free to comment down below.